Hey, what's up guys? Coach Geyer here, XIP Training and Ridgeline Athlete. Today, I'm gonna to show you a couple movements using the Ancore Trainer that we like to incorporate for developing a stronger relationship between opposite shoulder and hip. Also called the cross crawl pattern, contralateral coordination, and all that it means is that we're trying to have a good relationship, okay, or conversation between hip, opposite shoulder, shoulder, opposite hip just like we find in walk, run, or other types of athletic movement. It's very important that we can have good coordination and develop the, the patterns needed to move not just in a coordinated fashion, but to do so dynamically, as we're gonna find in the high-speed environments in sport. So the first one, I'm sure you guys are familiar with a bird dog. So here, I'm dropping down on one knee. So the difference with this bird dog, uh, and to go back, I got knee on the ground, opposite hand on the ground as well. Now the difference with this bird dog is that I'm loaded and I'm gonna press that cable out as I'm reaching that opposite leg out as well. I come back in, press out, back in, press out. Now, as you do that, it's important that you stay stable through your middle, okay? As you move from the shoulder and hip, around that stable middle. If you think about running as an example, we, we know intuitively that somebody who's running and has a lot of forward, up, down, sort of flexion, extension at their middle, that's not gonna be very efficient. You're leaking power every time that you move. So in this movement here, and also in running and, and other dynamic action, stay stable in your middle. We move the shoulder and hip around this stable kind of, this is our transfer station. We don't wanna move that around too much. Now, second movement, we're gonna go from ground base to now standing. So I'm gonna take my anchor, I'm just gonna slide it up here. So I like to leave, I like to leave my anchor loose enough, okay, that I can slide it up and down, but as you can tell, it, it doesn't change position when I'm pulling on it. Just a little tip to help you kind of move quicker from one movement to the next. Now here, I've got a standing single arm chop and I'm bringing up the opposite knee. So again, we're in this same sort of cross crawl pattern, but I'm doing it standing on one leg, and I'm pulling that cable down and kissing the inside of that opposite knee. Now, first off, this is gonna require a lot of that single leg stability, is you're gonna have to really root down, be aware of the foot, okay, and the ground underneath it. Root down, grab a hold, and then find that good, strong single leg stability so that you can create this nice coordinated movement and bring that knee up and meeting the opposite hand to it. Now it might look easy, but there's a lot going on there. And if the timing is off, right? If your coordination isn't there, you're gonna find that things are gonna go askew and you're gonna be kind of falling to the outside, the inside, based on how that movement is happening. So guys, those are two movements using the Ancore Trainer, okay? To help you develop that good, foundational coordination that's so important for driving very uh, efficient athletic movement.